Now, a lot of you are going to look at this and be like, oh my God, this is going to be terrible. These decimals, I don't want to do that. This is annoying. I mean, yes, we have a calculator, but still, this is a whole lot of mess. But when I look at this, I say, oh, thank God. All of the ending terms, right? All of the terms that would I would be left with if I made x equal to zero, they're all different. So if I just make x equal zero, I'm going to be able to, yes, still have to deal with some decimals, but at least I can do that in the calculator more easily, and I don't have to worry about any algebra issues, and I'm going to get down to one right answer. So I think a big key with arithmetize is including the answer choices in your scan of the question. What are we given? You can quickly determine whether arithmetize is the right move based on those answer choices if you know how to read them correctly. So like I, we've been doing, let's make x equal to zero. So this equation really just becomes negative 2.4 squared minus negative 6.4, right? Because if we put a zero in, this goes away and this goes away. So we can't lose those negatives and we gotta be careful with the parentheses but otherwise this should work itself out. So I would normally go to this calculator, but to show you, uh, I would just, I'm gonna use Desmos here. So we have negative, uh, what is it, 2.4, 2.4, and let's close those parentheses and then do the squared, okay? And then it's minus, and this part you can probably do in your head, but I'll just do it exactly as written so I don't mess it up, minus 6.4 uh, in parentheses, and they give me 12.16, which is in choice C, and that's it. Because again, if I were to put zero in, for the x's in the answer choice as well. Once I make x zero, all the x's are zero. Those other x terms in the choices are gonna die just like they did in the question. So I'm gonna be left with just these last numbers. So that won't always happen. You gotta pay attention if we have exponents uh, where the x is the exponent, that's gonna behave a little bit differently. But for questions like this, where the x is kind of the base of anything, this is really easy. We can very quickly knock out lots of terms just by making x zero. And yeah, we gotta deal with the, the decimals, but we don't have to deal with the decimals and the uh, algebra and the variables. We can just take those decimals, put them in the calculator and let the calculator deal with the decimals. Uh, this is so much easier. There is no reason to do algebra on this question. If your instinct is to solve it algebraically, your brain is broken. You need to get used to the strategies. There is something wrong with you and it's gonna cost you points on the SAT. Avoid algebra as much as possible.